Folks, welcome to WTW Science. It's Dr. G. We're on a really balmy, lovely, wonderful summer night here. I have an awesome experiment for you. I have a block of ice here, which we produced in the kitchen. Very simple, not rocket science here. Just need a container, fill that with water, pop that in the freezer, and there you have a nice block of ice. If you don't have one of these containers, pop over to the neighbor's place. They always have one of these around. So the idea today is very simple. I'm going to try and get a piece of wire right through this block of ice and at the end making sure that the block of ice remains intact. So we're going to get a piece of wire right through the block of ice and at the end still have one complete block of ice. Is that possible? Yes. Always say yes even if you're thinking no. You only say no to strangers, remember that. So for this experiment to work, we're going to use gravity as an assistant and we're going to weight the wires and then using these dumbbells I'm going to straddle the wire across the ice itself very gently, you've got to be very careful over here and then it becomes a matter of a waiting game you're back and you notice something really fascinating that's taking place right now part of that wire is now actually embedded inside that ice you can have a look quite nicely there and same on the other side so what's really happening is as the wire is cutting through the ice the ice is melting and the energy from the melting ice is being transferred to the wire which is being conducted away and as time goes on you're going to have this wire slipping through the ice and the effect that energy transfer is going to continue you'll also notice something that's quite fascinating somewhere in the middle of that ice cube well not exactly in the middle you'll see an opaque ball a white ball similar to ice cubes so what's giving rise to that white patch uh, in the middle of the ice cube there and there's nothing more than air particles that are trapped inside so the light basically cannot pass right through there and it gives you uh, that effect of a little cloud inside in fact this one is so cool and cute because you can actually see little whiskers of ice popping out of that that's really fascinating so let's give it a bit more time and let's see this um, experiment to the end hi guys almost uh, 15 minutes later and you can clearly see part of the wire right there in the ice, totally embedded. So you've got the ice block just frozen all around the wire at the top as well. The wire is now cut right through the top and is now traveling downwards. And uh, I'm sure within time, you're going to the wire passing right through. And this would be an awesome experiment in thermodynamics and heat transfer. Can't wait to show you the end product of this. Hi guys, we're back and the wire has now completely passed through the block of ice. You can see clearly see the line or the track made by the wire as it passed through the ice. And just to convince ourselves that the block is intact, if you have a look at that, it's a single piece, right? And uh, there's the wire with the dumbbells. I remember we had that straddle over there. It's gone right through the ice and uh, the block is intact and if you believe in the laws of physics and there we have it if you use copper wire this experiment would have gone a lot quicker because copper has a better conductivity and also while we're the topic of of water and ice please remember to conserve water save our planet hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned something like comment subscribe thank